Well, today we are working on this fun piece of wall art for the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, so this pattern is it's only got one piece that's going to be hard to cut if you're cutting by hand, and that's this one because it's got quite a bit of detail in it. Um, and believe me, it was a temptation to just keep going on with detail, but I wanted to keep this simple. So we've only got three pattern pieces. We've got the, the backing to our wall art, we've got our frame, and we've got our lighthouse. We're going to be gluing in two stages. We're going to glue the pairs of pieces together. Let that glue dry and then glue the frame onto the front of this. I'll talk about that as we're working. So I have a and this is just cut out of white, medium weight cardstock, like most of my projects are. Um, but let's talk about the pattern and what you get and all that stuff. So this is a free pattern. It's free for you to use. You can make as many copies of this lighthouse wall art as you want. You can do whatever you want with the finished piece. You could sell them, you can give them away, you can do whatever you want. I just ask that you don't give away or sell my pattern because I spent a lot of time coming up with the designs and working out the kinks and making a pattern that you can use so that you can easily make today's project and every project that I do. Um, it's really easy to get your pattern. All you have to do is go to the blog post that goes with today's video. The link for that is in the description box below today's video. And there, there will be a link to a Google Drive where you will be able to download a folder. That folder will have three parts. It will have a PNG file to use with your electronic cutting machine a text file that gives a few hints and tips as well as what size to make sure this is sized at when you use it with your electronic cutting machine. And it also has a PDF file for those of you that want to hand cut your pattern out. Uh, so that's all there is to that. Now I use a medium weight white cardstock for a couple of reasons. Number one, I only have to keep white cardstock on hand, and cardstock can get kind of expensive, especially if you're going out and buying every color that someone is using. Secondly, I find that most times acrylic paint colors are much more light stable and light fast than the colored cardstock. I've had too many times where I have spent hours making a project with colored cardstock. I've displayed it on my dollhouse and I've come back a few months later to find that it has faded and the, some of the colors, not all the colors, sometimes only one color of cardstock will fade and it just makes the whole piece look bad. Typically acrylic paint I have not had that problem with. Now some of them can, some colors can fade, but not as badly I find as the paper does. So all you have to do is just glue these pieces together and then I hide, the reason I'm going to do this in two steps, I'm not going to glue this frame onto the front of that um, lighthouse yet is because I want to make sure that these are flat and in order to make sure that they are going to dry flat, I'm going to put a piece of wax paper on, I'm going to leave them on the wax paper. I'm going to put a piece of wax paper on top of them. I'm going to put something on top of that, probably one of my, my uh, rulers, and a weight, something to hold it down until it gets at least partially dry. Then I'll probably take all the weight off, flip these pieces over, and put the weight back on so that I can make sure that this dries nice and flat. And when that glue is dry enough that I feel that it won't continue to warp, I will come back and we will glue the frame onto the front of the draw of the um, lighthouse section. So I'll see you when this glue dries. All right, my glue has dried enough that I'm comfortable going ahead and gluing these together. Now keep in mind that your frame needs to be on the front 
So if you want your lighthouse on this side of the finished uh, picture, be sure and put it the right direction in the frame. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going to spread some glue around the frame. I need to get a little more glue out. I'm just going to spread some glue on the frame. Don't go too, don't do too much because you don't want to have it oozing out too badly. And then this will need to dry because we don't want it to tear when we put put it on the tape to do the painting because the next step after this glue dries all the way is we're going to put this down on some tape and we're going to paint the frame and the silhouette of the lighthouse with black and then we're going to paint this piece with a sunset. So I'm going to, I'll get these lined, <clears throat> lined up. I'm losing my voice due to my allergies <clears throat> today, so sorry, sorry about that. So just line it up and do your best to get this all lined up. Run your fingers around it to make sure. And now you have, and if you have any glue coming up, kind of pulling out there, make sure you wipe that up. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put the wax paper back on it and put a weight back on it. That way when it dries, it will still be flat. And I'll see you then. All right, my glue has dried overnight, so I know that these are completely dry, and I've got them laid down onto some tape, which is sticky side up. I ended up putting them that direction simply so they would take less tape. Um, this is going to be painted just solid black. I'm going to paint a sunset on this one, and I've got a picture of a sunset off to the side. And I picked colors of paint from my stash that kind of went with the one I'm not copying, but kind of being inspired by. So I have, whoops, I have a bright blue. I have a, um, what is this one? Royal Fuchsia, uh, Vivid Orange, and Bright Yellow. So what I'm going to do is get out my, I've got a container here. I'm gonna try not to splatter onto my black piece, but it, it's fine. If I get some on there. Now I'm going to start with the blue at the top. And I'm going to do that. Next, I'll be doing a little of this. And I'll go back and forth with the colors until I get a blend that I like. Now I'm going to get another lid because I don't have room on there. Put some orange out on. I've got another lid here. I'll move that there, I guess, for right now. And I'll get the yellow out at the same time. Now because of the frame, it's a good idea to put a little more of the two that go on the very top and the very bottom. Make that stripe a little wider simply because it part of it's going to more of it's going to be covered up. definitely want to, I say that and then I go way more orange than yellow, but I can come back up. You definitely do not want to be working out of your paint jars um, with this because you are going to be picking up the colors that are next to the colors you're working with. Okay, I've got a good blend into that. Let's go back and work on the blue and if you get your paintbrush too much of one of the neighboring colors 
just get a fresh brush. Brushes are easy to wash. It's not a big deal. This magenta is much more um, translucent than my other colors. I may have to put a couple more coats in the middle of it. Let's get a fresh brush. And don't work it too much because if you work too much, whoa, that was not good. You are going to end up tearing the paper. Okay, that's okay. Do not really want to get the blue all the way down there, but that's okay. We'll work with it. I will probably let this dry and then I will come back and do a little bit more work on it after it dries. This one, make sure the frame side is on the upside and just paint it with black. That I'm going to do off camera. And when I have these the way I want them, I'll come back and we will start assembly. So I'll see you then. All right, my paint has dried and now we're ready to assemble. So all that means is more nice thick tacky glue. And don't put too much glue on. It doesn't have to be, especially like on the lighthouse, you don't have to be edge to edge. The more glue you add, number one, the longer it's going to take to dry, but also the more apt you are to have something happen, like some of the paint reactivate if it's got a little damp spot or have a big glob of paint come out. And we don't want to fill in the, like the light the window up there on the lighthouse. All right. Now, very carefully. Oops, I got. Let's get this up here. Line this up. And once you are happy with how it looks, another piece of wax paper, a flat surface, and then a weight. And I'm just using my little Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to let that glue dry, and by having the weight on it, it will hold it flat. Once this glue dries, I'll come back and we can put a clear finish on and see how this looks on a dollhouse wall. I'll see you then. All right, my glue is still drying, but I do have a little bit of black paint that will need to be touched up before I can paint. So I'm just going to go along the edges and paint like this, just to make sure that I don't have anything showing that's not black on the edges of the frame. So when this paint dries and the glue is completely dry, I will come back and we will put that clear coat on. So I'll see you then. All right, now that that touch-up paint and the glue is dry, I'm just going to give my piece a coat of, a, a nice even light coat of Satin Mod Podge. And once that's dry, I will show this to you, show you what this looks like, and we'll see it. Try and be able to film in my little room box, because I kind of designed this to fit on a wall in the dollhouse over the fireplace. So we will meet over there when this dries. I'll see you then. All right, our lighthouse artwork is in place above the fireplace and I think it looks wonderful. Um, be sure and check the blog post for photos as well as the pattern so you can download your own copy. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of things would you like to see in future videos? If you enjoyed my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.